day everybody I'm John Scarborough I wanted to make a little video real quick kind of show a little bit about what we're doing um, today we've got this broadcaster over here we're getting ready to spread uh, coffee grounds so it's pure 100% coffee grounds I'm not sure um, I mean that's a pretty good bit of coffee ground filling that whole thing up we've got enough that we can probably fill that up a second time so we'll use both of those um, we actually get our coffee grounds from a uh, coffee shop local coffee shop here in town um, we we would love to be able to get coffee grounds from all of them uh, but so far only one of them have have been compliant with that um, there in town so we're pretty happy about that at uh, PJ's coffee we're very thankful to them there in Ruston um, but anyway so what we're gonna do is we're gonna spread this uh, these coffee grounds out we've used coffee grounds for quite some time in our compost uh, we'll compost quite large piles uh, down to uh, down to usable uh, soil uh, and we'll use the coffee grounds as our nitrogen source most of the time your nitrogen source if anybody doesn't know is your green if you, when, when people say to put green and browns together to make a compost your nitrogen source is your green and um, in this case we're using coffee grounds which is the nitrogen source um, so coffee grounds is a it's actually got a pretty good balance for NPK. It's not a perfect balance, uh, but it's a pretty good balance. They, whether you want to call it downside or upside, you can call it either one, uh, just depending on what you're trying to get, is that the nitrogen, it has some very quickly releasing nitrogens, but for the most part, most of the nitrogens are slow release nitrogens. Um, so your, your nitrogen, your phosphorus, and your, and your potassium uh, will actually release more um, uh, more at the same rate like that I, I, I believe but so the downside is you don't get this huge burst of, of green of green growth uh, overnight like you would with uh, when you put on traditional nitrogen that releases very quickly the upside is is you don't lose any of the nitrogen uh, you're not going to lose it and you're you're not going to burn your plants like this either um, so that's a, a big plus for me. We use this quite a bit in our gardens as well. Uh, but we usually put it on fairly thick because it can slowly break down and slowly release those nitrogens. And many times we don't have to do anything else uh, the whole the whole duration. So right at the beginning of the, the crop, we'll put that on. And we may, closer towards the end of the crop, we may come back around and do it again. Uh, but we do, wouldn't even necessarily have to. It just depends. But this is the first time we're trying it on our pastures, on our grass. This is uh, mostly Bermuda right in here on the top of this hill here. Um, so there's a little bit of bahia and a little other things. And of course, there's weeds that come up in here as well. Uh, we have not put any sprays on it. It was sprayed before I owned the property. Um, but anyway, so there was, uh, there are a few other mixes, but for the most part, it's Bermuda. So we're going to experiment with putting out, um, th putting this out. Now I know it's going to be good for the soil. I know it's going to be good for the microbes, and I know it's going to be wonderful uh, just all the way around. What I don't know is will I ever have enough quantity here um, to amount to much. Uh, I know over time it will amount to much. It will amount to something good, but will it amount to something very quickly? And what I mean is I've actually seeded this with ryegrass. So ryegrass will come up on its own by itself, but obviously if you fertilize it, it'll come up a little bit better. Um, so this is a resource to us that we're getting uh, for the price. Uh, we don't pay anything for it, but we have to go pick it up. Um, so we're gonna try putting it out. And I'm just curious, this is just kind of experimental for me. I'm still learning about it because I know in our gardens, we'll put this out and we put it on pretty heavy while out here in the pasture in order to have enough I'm gonna to have to spread it out pretty thin so more than anything this is more experimental I'll come back with another update whether I think it's a good uh, whether I think there's a good outcome I, there's not gonna be a bad outcome the only outcome will be that you don't get this explosion of green grass overnight you know like you might would uh, if you were going to town and buying a uh, chemical fertilizer or if you were to go get chicken litter and put chicken litter out on it you'd get the same outcome uh, so that's the only the the 
it's not even a downside that would be the lesser side i guess would be the easy way to say it so anyway i'll come back with an update and see it uh if anybody has ever tried this putting just pure coffee grounds out on their pastures uh let me know put it in the uh put it in the comments below and feel free to have a conversation between each other about it as well uh, i'd love i love reading that and kind of learning from y'all seeing what y'all do and seeing what works for y'all and all like that uh and if anybody else has any other suge suggestions on this a mixture that they might mix with this i've actually considered uh mixing this with like a chicken litter if i had access to some we do have a chicken farm right across the road from us uh if he would let me use it i don't know if he would or not but i'd have to buy it from him but whatever the case may be i have considered that um so anyway just thought i'd show that guys uh thanks everybody don't forget to like with my coffee ground hands and subscribe